As I sat in front of my Chromebook, staring at a blank screen for a long time, I felt much like my high school English students must feel when I assigned them an essay prompt. I tried all of the tricks I teach them in order to brainstorm ideas before writing. And eventually, I typed one word in response to how the Catholic school credo comes alive in my classroom. I typed the word love. And then I proceeded to sit and stare at a blinking cursor next to the word love for quite some time. I listed all of the tangible ways on a daily basis the credo lives and breathes in my classroom. Daily prayer intentions, connecting the gospel values to the literature we read and analyze, researching topics through the lens of Catholicity, celebrating everyone's individual human dignity. I tried to weave Bible verses together with examples to create evidence that the credo is a centering force within the walls of 328 at Central Catholic High School but nothing sounded right. Nothing flowed beautifully from my fingertips. I simply just kept circling back to four letters, one word, love. Lisa is an English teacher and the head of our English department and is just an incredibly influential and impactful educator. She is one of the first teachers I reference when talking to and meeting with new teachers for who they should model their classroom after and aspire to be as a teacher in the building. Her classroom environment is inspiring. I leave there every day a better person when I get the opportunity to observe. Her students are responsible for their own work. They know that they're cared for. Um, they learn independent learning skills, communication skills. She is calm but commanding of her classroom. She's a gentle soul who connects with students and still is able to pull a lot out of them. Really high expectations. You can tell just all of the planning and preparation that goes into her classroom environment, how it's run um, from activity to activity uh, to uh, different really learning um, opportunities. It's abundant in her classroom every day. Ms. Hunter was my sophomore year English teacher and I always enjoyed her class very much. She turned out to be my small group leader so I have had the opportunity for the past couple years to have her in my small group um, growing in my faith every single day. I've had Ms. Hunter for a couple of different classes. I've had the opportunity to have her for creative writing and for some of my English classes too. And through that time having her, she helped me expand my like, social skill and she helped me break out of my shell and really helped me get out there and kind of just um, explore my creative talents with my writing, my poetry especially. And through that time also I had the opportunity to go on a senior Kairos and while I was sitting in my senior Kairos room, I was opening my letters and Miss Hunter actually sent me a, like, a little journal and it had like a note on it and everything. It was really sweet. So Miss Hunter is really caring. She's really thoughtful and she really cares about her students and she puts the hardest effort into their room, so. It is love that creates a community of faith in my classroom. My students and I work together to see one another as sons and daughters of God. He loves us in our best moments when we are whole and shine, living as we should in his eyes. And God loves us when we are battered and broken, stalled where we are, or just barely staying afloat. He loves us no matter what and gives us grace in place of grace already given. Every day is a fresh start in the eyes of our Lord. I try my best to love every student who walks through my door every day in the same manner that God loves all of us. Some days I fail, some days I succeed, I believe it is striving to love as God loves that creates a faith community in my classroom. This faith community, in turn, allows us to undertake the holy endeavor of pursuing topics we are passionate about as we travel through the course of study together, figuring out who we are and what our call to holiness might be. We listen for God's loving voice amidst our intellect and creativity, supporting each other as a learning community while we search out our own individual truths that are ultimately rooted in God's love. For I believe if education is rooted in God's love, then it will transform the world. How does the credo come alive in my classroom? Just four letters, one word, love.